Hi everybody out there in YouTube land, it's Nathan again. I'm doing a new video because this October I'm doing two separate art challenges, even though I'll be doing them mostly at the same time. I'm doing Inktober, which is, uh, as you can see, I'm using a ballpoint pen right here. This is narration happening after the fact. I recorded narration with this as I drew it, but audio is really bad, so I'm re-recording with my super cool uh, microphone. Hopefully it sounds better. Anyway, first challenge of October is something called Inktober, which I believe was started by a Mr. Jake Parker uh, as a challenge where you draw something in ink every day for every day of October. And in this case, uh, ink is defined in, for my purposes as uh, something that uses ink as its means of making a mark. Generally speaking, black ink on white paper might change. More than likely will stay the same though. Um, I'm excluding markers because I'm considering that more of a pigment and uh, I'm sticking to traditional media for this challenge, so I won't be doing any digital inking during this uh, October Inktober challenge. In addition to and uh, on top of the same October challenge, I'm also doing something I've come up with for myself called 31 Days of Halloween. Uh, it's fairly obvious. I'll be drawing something Halloween or horror themed every day for October, and uh, that may or may not be the same thing I'm drawing for Inktober, so I'm, I'm cheating a little bit. So sometimes it's not two challenges, it's just one. Uh, the point of this is to generate some new material and to force myself to do something new every day. As part of those challenges, I'll be doing a video like this one for every drawing. Might not get a chance to post them all every day because posting videos actually takes a lot longer than actually doing the video. I'm sure a lot of people out there bear me out on that. But I have made a promise to myself to post uh, the entire week's worth of videos within the week of creation. So if for some reason I miss posting a video for a day, that video will be up by the end of the week. And these will all be up on my YouTube channel, which you're watching this on right now. Um, I'm also going to be posting the images uh, with hashtags for uh, Inktober 2015 and uh, 31 Days of Halloween, which that'll be on my Instagram, my Tumblr, Facebook, and all that stuff. So if anyone's interested in, in uh, following along with the challenge, please do. Um, show your own stuff. Use those hashtags so we can all see. And uh, if you want to do videos too, that'd be excellent. Um, link them in the comments or mention them in the comments. I'll be glad to link them to them, and I'll be glad to spread the word. Uh, what I'm going to do with this one today was just a quick one to get started. I'm actually the second time I'm recording the narration. I mentioned that before. So this is already taking a lot longer than it would have. Um, I'm almost missing sleep. <laughs> but that's always the case when you make something with, with art, right? Um, I'm sticking to familiar territory here. I'm just drawing a werewolf type creature, which is something I do a lot of anyway. Uh, the ballpoint here is using, I'm treating this as my underdrawing, my pencil, basically. I'm not using any kind of underdrawings or anything in these challenges, it's just straight ink, which I hope will make me a little more spontaneous and um, uh, hopefully get some interesting results. Also, I uh, didn't mention the time limit. I'm giving myself a time limit of one hour per day for these challenges. Um, that's either an hour combined for uh, both or split it up however I see fit for separate drawings, if that's the case. Uh, this is a quickie today. I, don't, I think it only took about 15 minutes. Because it being the first one, I don't have any system set up for the editing or recording the audio again and all that stuff. And like I said, it's already late, so that'll be an upward limit. That won't be a maximum. It won't be a minimum. Um, the idea is to have a special uh, entry for October 31st, which is Halloween. For those of you who live in places that don't really celebrate Halloween, like me, uh, <laughs> here in uh, in Australia and other in Sydney. Here in Australia, they don't celebrate Halloween as much as they do in the States, although it is slowly gaining some acceptance and some popularity. They do like parties, and they do like dressing up, so it seems like a natural. I'm sure in five or six years, it'll be a standard holiday here. Uh, so sticking with familiar territory, I'm doing a werewolf. I'm also going to be using a brush pen later on for some of the darks. Um, it, it turned out that the brush pen ink was not only a bit dry, but a bit uh, less opaque than the ballpoint, so it's kind of an interesting mix. I am going to include things like ink wash in this challenge. A lot of people, uh, the purists, will probably just go with um, straight pen on paper, either a dip pen or a ballpoint or um, a brush, and won't mix it up, and generally won't do wash either. It's more about linear stuff. And I may do a few of those too, but uh, in this case, I knew the ballpoint wasn't going to be uh, heavy enough for some of the darks and I just wanted to experiment with it. It's been a while since I've used the brush pen for anything which is one of the reasons I didn't know it was all dried out.
Uh, most of these will be real time, uh, although the longer ones I'm going to have to do speed drawings on because I know nobody wants to sit here and watch me scribble slowly away for half an hour or 40 minutes, whatever it is. So some of them will be speed paints. Uh, I'll try to do a little bit of narration each time. I know it's not terribly interesting, but I need to set it up for people who have no idea what they're looking at or why and don't want to be bothered to read the comment section, which, you know, it happens. Um, because these will be all horror and Halloween themed, hopefully by the end of the thing I'll have some sort of collection. And out of the 31 drawings, I should have enough stuff together to put, to put together some kind of little mini sketchbook or something out of it. I think that'd be kind of fun. So we'll see what we can do with that. Might even revisit some of these later on for full-fledged uh, works. It's funny, um, I've been transitioning a lot more from linear and comic art to painting lately. So I've been thinking in tones quite a lot instead of lines. I'm never very good at lines anyway. I've never been great with line work. Um, I can ink reasonably well if I have a great drawing to work with, <laughs> meaning someone else's generally. But uh, as far as masterful control of linear form, uh, it's not very good. <laughs> uh, so I tend to think in terms of tone and light and shadow a lot which is one of the reasons why I grabbed the brush pen after the uh, linear part of this was in place so I could add some depth to that fur, some uh, shadows, just a little more, you know, a little more oomph to the whole thing. But back to my earlier comment, I'm going to be doing uh, some speed paints, some real times. The real times will have real time commentary like this or live commentary as I draw if I can get the stupid microphone to work on the webcam. Um, they probably won't all be as badly filmed as this. I'm noticing now it's, the focus is pretty bad on this. I'll have a better setup going to tomorrow. We'll see how what we can do with that. <clears throat> I do have a pretty nice webcam. I've just got to find a way to use it now. But the uh, speed paints will have the tiniest bit, little bit of commentary just to tell you what you're watching, and then I'll, I'll shut up. And I'll keep all the videos around 10, 15 minutes if I can, at most. Because that's you guys get bored. I totally understand. I do too. If you're interested in seeing what the drawing looks like without watching me scribble it down or listening to me babble about scribbling it down, just scroll to the last uh, 10 seconds of the video or so. There's a shot of it at the end, and you can get a decent image of that. And again, I'll be posting these on social media as well. So if you happen to follow me there at all, it's uh, just Nathan Siebold on Facebook or... Let me think. Uh, NathanDrawsDaily.tumblr.com or Nathan Seville on Instagram. So I'll be on all those places putting up the final images with hashtags for Inktober 2015 and 31 Days of Halloween. Um, in the case that I'm doing a drawing for just one or the other, it'll only have one of those hashtags, obviously. But you'll notice there'll be two posts that day for that kind of thing because I'll have to do both drawings. If I only do one, if I do a singular drawing for each entry, then there'll be two drawings. Math is difficult for me. <laughs> the idea of doing this challenge at all is, um, and I've got a lot of projects running right now that are more important, honestly, than some little daily art challenge thing I came up with for fun. But um, because I'm limiting the time on this, I feel like I have a good chance of getting it done. Right, here's where I break out the brush pen. I was actually describing what I was doing. <laughs> so if you notice I'm showing the brush pen to the camera, all this goofy stuff. That's a calligraphy brush pen. It's uh, it's Japanese. It's super long handled, um, generally to give you more control over your calligraphy strokes and to give you more flow. Uh, I use it. I use it choked down pretty well, like a like a pen. And uh, my control is not great on it. Like I said, I haven't used it in a while, and the ink on it's dried up quite a bit. You'll see how it's very tony and washy here, which is great for my purposes on this drawing, but not what I was intending in the first place. Usually with those pens, what you get is, is very solid black on white, and it's, it's generally opaque ink as well. But this is uh, fairly translucent. For, for black ink, it's fairly translucent. I think tomorrow I might break out my liquid ink and um, real brush, and so show just how long it's been since I've done anything <laughs> like this. So if you want to see somebody fail miserably and laugh about it, tune in tomorrow. Or you could just watch this, right? <laughs> no, I kid. I'd, I'd act like this self-effacing humor, of course. But I, I do like this drawing. I like the style that this is going into. 
Um, I like to try to get some of the, across some of the ferocity and the wildness in a creature like this. To me, werewolves are agents of sort of chaos and lack of control. If you see a werewolf with combed hair or something a little too neat, to me that's just not what werewolves are. Werewolves are not just you know dog people. They're like mad dog people. So think of a rabid dog that can walk and has thumbs and wants to eat you. That's what werewolves are to me. I'm sure throughout this challenge over the month of October, I'm going to end up exhausting all of my favorite uh, horror monster tropes. I'd like to not duplicate any, so you probably won't see another werewolf. Um, there are lots that I love, though, so hopefully something will appeal to you guys or you'll find something you like. I'm going to try to keep a, as much Halloween in it as I can. Uh, there will be occasional things where it's just a monster, and that's as close to Halloween as it gets. But I'd like to try to do something a little more um, holiday-oriented, too. So, like, jack-o'-lanterns and graveyards and, you know, skeletons, that kind of thing. We'll see what we come up with. I'm doing these off, off the cuff, so I, pro I probably won't put a lot of planning into them ahead of time. I'll just jump in and see what I can get done in the time I give myself. Um, with the exception of that final one, I actually have a plan for that already. But that's kind of a surprise. It has to do with one of the other projects I'm working on that is uh, going to premiere for Halloween. If Mary's watching this, then she knows what I'm talking about. So don't worry, Mary, I haven't forgotten. <laughs> Your project is still very important, and we will get it done in time. Watch. It's funny watching the video it's, this actually looks a little better to me than the drawing ended up being because of the way the camera is blurting out that middle section of the uh, neck area the wash looks much more convincing than the real thing you'll see what happens you'll see what I mean when they I bring the image up earlier I did color correct the scan slightly meaning I bumped up the contrast because the scan came in really gray but that's the only correction I've done to it I'm gonna try to keep these traditional also I mean, they're, they're going to be made traditional, but I'm going to try to not filter them. Instagrams will have no filters. You know, the scans will be as clean and true to the original as I can make them. So yeah, we'll try to keep it real this, this year for Inktober and Halloween. Hopefully, I've, hopefully Jake Parker is the person I'm supposed to be thanking for starting Inktober. If it's someone else, I'll make a note of it in the commentary. And um, I apologies all around. I'm thinking it is, though, because it seems very familiar to me. Um, and it, like I said, Inktober's not my challenge. I didn't come up with that idea. Someone else has. It's just something I've done a few times in the past. It's a great exercise. It's a lot of fun. It gives you just enough direction, meaning you have to use ink, and once a day, and a drawing that doesn't stifle you at all, but gives you some, some backbone to build your project on. So I really like Inktober. Um, it's hard to do every day when you don't have any ideas, but I'm also doing the, the Halloween thing, so I always have a fallback as well. This is the kind of stuff I usually draw anyway, so no great creative stretch this month for me as far as drawing exercises goes, but sometimes that's good. I think if the subject is familiar, maybe my take on it can change. You know, I feel free to do that. Because these are daily drawings, I can feel free to do... Don't be precious about it all. There's no reason to be precious about any of these. I'm not doing them for a client, I'm not doing them for money at the moment. So it's just for fun and practice. A little dot in the eye there. <laughs> it's funny. Now you can barely even see that there's an eye there in this camera. Yeah, I can take the autofocus off next time. I'm noticing that my werewolves lately, like this guy, they look a lot like heraldry wolves. I've got the pointed tongue coming out, and they usually have their hands kind of at an awkward, bent angle. They're almost in profile, but not quite. That's probably just bad perspective on my part. <laughs> anyway, here's a, here's a closer look at what it came out like on the webcam. Rawr. <laughs> 
and then after this you'll see a quick shot of what it looked like as a scan thanks everybody for watching if you've born with me this long thank you for listening to me rattle on and uh, i promise i'll keep it more brief from now on as far as talking goes uh thanks for subscribing and liking the channel if you do uh spread the word if you're interested don't forget your hashtags inktober 2015 and 31 days of halloween you guys take care and until next time keep making stuff